Hello everyone, welcome to Railworks. My name is James and today we're doing a kit build. This one being the PD Mars uh, LNER Sentinel Center, also known as the uh, Y1 or the Y3 class. And uh, yeah, it's a rather nice little simple white metal kit. Uh, and also it uses this, uh, well, this is one of the uh, possible sashes which you can use. This is the uh, Graham Ferris Paul Era uh, DMU uh, power bogey and um, yeah for its age it's actually a rather nice runner I'll say this and it still doesn't want to work on there we go first tried recording that the first time and it didn't really want to work but uh, yes it does run it just doesn't like being run on camera so um <laughs> Yeah, pop that over there. Uh, if you're wondering what the product code is, it is A151 and it's an N-gate, obviously. So, um, yeah, you only got a few bits and pieces. Uh, this is the uh, uh, instructions, and it's got uh, how many pieces we've got? It's got the loco front, uh, right side, left side, coupling, uh, loco rear, water tank top, two side frames, cab rear, cab roof, a sprue of buffers and chimney and a sashi cover so um basically that many pieces really it's uh two four six eight ten twelve thirteen pieces and uh yeah this shouldn't really be all that difficult to build uh you can use it with uh, you can build it with either uh, two-part epoxy uh, lime out solder or super glue which is what i'll be using uh, does a recommend a gel type, but uh, I'll be using my normal type, and then paint it in you no know, before putting it all together. Well, after putting it on the chassis. So um, yes, and it has a nice step-by-step -step guide of how to put it all together, which I'll be vaguely uh, following, and also a exploded diagram of which pieces go where, so it shouldn't be all that bad, and it. So there's a few other types of chassis which you can use, however it is actually designed for the power bogey of the old DMUs. Uh, the only modification which I have to do is basically take this uh, black plastic uh, U-shaped thing off. Uh, I think that's not entirely sure what that is, it's probably, it looks slightly Busted, so it might have been the, the uh, housing unit just to hold it in. And what? Not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, I don't need it, so I'll be removing it, and uh, it will go in my various spare parts box. So uh, yeah, it shouldn't be all that long to uh, put together, and uh, yeah, it should be up and running, hopefully within a day. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop waffling, uh, waffling on and get to work putting together. So I'll see you. In a bit and also tell you a bit more about the uh, central centers in the meantime so soon as the LNER class Y1 and class Y3 were two classes of 040 geared steam locomotives built by the central wagon works for the London Northeastern Railway and introduced in 1925 for the Y1 and 1927 for the Y3 the main difference between the centers is that the Y1 was a single speed unit whilst the Y3 had two speeds. Compared to virtually every other LNER steam locomotive, the Sentinel Y1 and Y3 centers had an unusual vertical design. The boiler was vertical with two vertical cylinders, one on each side. These were connected by a common crank start with cam shafts which set the cutter off. Rover trains then transmitted power from sprockets on the cams, uh, crankshaft to sprockets on each of the two axles. The advantage of a water tube boiler was that steam could be raised much more quickly than the conventional fire tube boiler. Due to their slow speed, the Y1 and Y3 stunters were rarely used to haul trains. Instead, they proved particularly useful stunting in small yards where where there was insufficient work for a large locomotive. Enough advantages that they could be operated by one person. Most were withdrawn from service in the late 1940s and 1950s, with seven surviving as their departmental stock into the early 1960s. 
Two centers of the basic Y1 and Y3 design have survived into preservation, with Y1 number 68153 is the only example ex LNER central center and can be found in the Middleton Railway in Leeds. It is currently undergoing an overhaul. Now here we are with the LNER center on my layout and it's mostly complete. Uh, there's a few things which I need to finish off. Uh, first of all I need to add coal to the outside here. Uh, also need to mention uh, that this box on the back here is not prototypical but it's a design uh, compromise to fit the chassis into the uh, model itself because it's this is the uh, chassis is actually a fairly big thing for this little model uh, and also I have changed uh, this is my own design choice I made the uh, handrail silver anyway the other things that I need to work on is I also need to add couplings and I need to properly insulate it on the inside. I did varnish it on the inside, but it doesn't seem to be all that successful. So I need to uh, work on that. But it does run. I'll say that as it stalls. There we go. But uh, yeah, the body is not quite completely on the uh, chassis at the moment because, like I said, I need to do some more work to it. So. Uh, it's a bit wobbly. But I'm quite happy with it. Ooh. So it seems to be getting stuck there, I'm not too sure why. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at that. But it does work and as I said, I think there is also a way to DCC it as well because um, there is just enough space on the inside. So that's not the issue. Uh, the chassis also seems to be wired much more differently than the normal Grand Ferris uh, pool era chassis. So I'll be able to access the um, all the wiring all that well and hopefully while doing so I'll be able to insulate it better but uh, yeah I might be able to DCC this so uh, things to do insulate uh, DCC it coal couplings should be a you know, lovely loco to have and I haven't actually worked out if I made a Y1 or Y3 let me know because uh, the running number is 150 but I think that's a Y1 but don't quote me on it I'm not all that familiar with uh, LNER stuff outside the uh, obvious things anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you feel free, no, if you like it feel free to comment uh, subscribe like, uh, like and I saw I'm uh, missing out another one but uh, anyway so I hope you enjoyed it if not, hope you enjoy your day anyway, and I hope to see you all again next time. Now let's see if we can make it go around the corner. If it's going the right way. Anyway, take care everyone. Bye bye. Whee! <laughs> take care.